It's starting to make sense now. So we're on the Connecticut River Greenway State Park and it's a canal side rail trail we can take. So I guess it's a canal and it'd be great if I can run on that, take a walk on that uh, rail trail, but I'm trying to get to Dorset, uh, Vermont. All right, and it's about a Tuesday, October 5th, about 3.40 in the afternoon. I'm trying to get there before it gets dark. Welcome to another adventure, RVing with Tim. The first weeks of October, I spent in New England watching the beautiful fall foliage. From my home in Greensboro, North Carolina, to Bar Harbor, Maine, I traveled over 3,600 miles in 17 days, stayed at three RV parks and two Airbnbs, visited many cities and too many towns to mention for an experience of a lifetime. Follow me, see what I saw, RVing with Tim out. All right, it's uh, Tuesday morning, about 10 o'clock, 10.30. Gary's set, I'm setting the RV up to leave. We've been here for since uh, Friday. Minute Man, Captain Ground here in Littleton, Bass. We're ahead to the next stop. But anyway, um, just put air in the tires. You know, I got a Vi Air um, uh, air pump, so put air in the tires. You're ahead on out, but this is what I want to talk to you about. All right, with the new RV, I wasn't a big fan of an outdoor kitchen. I, I wasn't looking for an outdoor kitchen, but this unit I like happen to have one. Not a big fan of it, but I do start to, I am starting to like it. So this morning, I actually cooked some bacon this morning outside so you know keeps the smell outside the rv i do my coffee in the morning but here's what i want to talk about so yesterday on the way back in from eating or something we stopped at this farm stand on the side of the road um and i'm gonna take you there to that location today i'm trying to on the way out but anyway look at this bacon man i just cooked up and everything is super fresh man look at that so uh right there on the side of the road they had a farm stand butcher shop or any kind of produce you want that comes right off the farm apples you name it they got all kinds of uh sauces and butters and stuff that they make uh they have um, maple syrup in the can just crazy man but anyway look at that fresh brace bacon never frozen and what it what they do is you know supply changes according to what they butcher for that day so you can get black angus steaks they'll cut it up you get chops you get anything but it's all off the farm it's called Springdale Farm on Great Road right here in Littleton, Mass. You got to check it out. But awesome, man. So this is a little finds, a little treats you find when you're out, you know, uh, camping and RVing. See a little place. I like to stop and try things out. But, man, I tell you what, you got to do it. It's uh, only about 10 minutes from here from the campsite, but you got to check them out. Springdale Farm. And it's another uh, farm right beside it. They got all kind of apples and produce, too. You can check them out. They're a rock store apart. But this uh, Springdale is the one to have the uh, have the butcher shop. All right, RV with Tim over and out. We get ready to leave uh, Minute Man uh, Campground here in Littleton, uh, Mass. Get ready head to Dorset RV Park in Vermont. So we're gonna be there for a couple of more days. So uh, like I said, this is our biggest trip to date. So uh, locked and loaded, ready to go. You know, stressful hooking that trailer up, make sure you got everything right and stuff like that. So it's two days, one day is the most successful, and that's leaving for a trip, you know, making sure the house is all locked up, everything's straight, then you got the trailer straight, make sure you forget anything, but we today we're heading out, we've been here since uh, uh, the 1st, October 1st, which was Friday of last week, and now it's Tuesday, go head out, so I'll bring you some footage from the route, and, uh, but first we're gonna stop at that at farm, I was telling you about, I got that uh, fresh bacon I showed you this morning, I was cooking up, but anyway, heading out, we show you the campground we just left and this is number 39 number 39 right there so it's been raining ever since we've been here literally man sometimes hard sometimes light but it's been raining today it's going to be clear for the next few days very little um rain so that's that's a welcome sight so we'll see what we get but you know rain don't mess with us our beers we we tough we waterproof we just like to be out here right all right tim stanley I ran with Tim out. All right, listen, uh, cooking that bacon up this morning, I told you I was gonna stop by the country store I got it from. It's called Springdale Farm. Hey, I talked to the owners. It, they've been in the family for five generations. So it's an awesome place, awesome people. And I just wanna show you where the farm is. It's a nice storm right on the side of the highway, so I don't wanna get too close to the road. 
But anyway, it's the farm in the back. Have the own produce, anything you want, have it here. They have uh, just stuff you won't find anywhere else. Maple syrup, of course, in the can. Man, just all kind of crazy stuff and fresh. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you what the inside look like. But this is where I got that bacon at. I, I did fried it up this morning I wanted to show you about. So it's called Springdale Farm. And uh, just look at that. Let's look at the produce they have. So it's right here in Littleton. It's about 10 minutes, man, from the um, from the Minuteman campground. And they have everything you want, uh, just nice and fresh. And uh, this is the kind of stuff I like, man. I like coming to places like this, seeing what you can find. And I came in here yesterday and I spent about $50, man, just on grabbing stuff. Uh, I like pickled stuff and they have all that stuff locally uh, made and sauce, uh, some of the best sauce I had. Um, all fresh, you pop the uh, lid open and you know, just just amazing stuff. So, just wanted to show you where I got it and we're gonna step inside. And you see they already with the fall festive uh, motif and everything. But that guy right there, I was talking to him, his name is Gary, he's in the Navy. <laughs> so we talked uh, Navy, we talked about, he did some time in Washington DC, you know that's where I'm from, right outside of Maryland, so we talked about that. And uh, look at their board. So black Angus beef, um, everything brisket, they all fresh, their own pork. So that's where I got that bacon at I was telling you about this morning. And uh, it comes in fresh, they bring it in and they butcher it and get anything you want. And uh, they keep it in the freezer and stuff and the refrigerator. So I'm gonna go around, kind of show you just a nice, nice place. Closing up for the day. How are you closing up for the day? I know. Tuesdays are early. Tuesdays are what? Family day. Family day. They closing right now. It's like 1.51 in the afternoon. I guess when you have a family farm, that's what you can do. You can close whenever you want to. But look at the fresh uh, produce in here. And just amazing. Just an awesome store. So like I said, I came in there yesterday. And I spent about $50. Uh, Got me some pumpkin butter, some honey butter, got all kinds of stuff. Salsa, fresh sauce and chips, but um, very nice store. So when you in, uh, come to the Minuteman Campground, make sure you stop by here and um, get yourself some fresh sausage, bacon and steaks put on the grill. And what's the name of this farm again? Springdale Farm. Springdale Farm. So, Hey, Tim Stanley, RVing with Tim. See you on the other side. All right, this is another shot of uh, Springdale Farm. There go the RV with Tim Mobile right there, swinging around. And what I was telling you about is a working farm, and there they go out there working right now. So. There they go out there in the field working. So it is a working farm, everything's fresh. Um, It's a nice vibe, man. All right, I'm in, I'm on my way to Dorset, Vermont. Um, and it's crazy, I'm in a town called Turner Falls. And you see that bridge way in the background, that green span back there. But anyway, you're going across the bridge, one side flowing water, the other side is the trickle. And it's because they divert the water, man into the town i mean it's crazy but look at that canal so i'm gonna go up there and walk across that bridge show you the other side but it's crazy uh i guess i'm gonna try to find out why they do this or why they did that but isn't that neat so it's a canal the water's diverted into this canal it kind of runs through the town so i went trying to find a place to park with the rv kind of went through the town a little bit but um, I didn't see any great uh, reason why they would divert the water down through here, but that's pretty slick, isn't it? It's starting to make sense now. So we are on the Connecticut River Greenway State Park, and it's a canal side rail trail we can take. 
So I guess it's a canal, and it'd be great if I can run on that, take a walk on that uh, rail trail. But I'm trying to get to Dorset, uh, Vermont. All right, and it's about a Tuesday, October 5th, about 3.40 in the afternoon. I'm trying to get there before it gets dark. All right, absolutely gorgeous. So that's right there in the center is a fishery, fisheries or hatchery operation. But anyway, so check this out. So beautiful. Turner Falls, Massachusetts. All right. That's gorgeous, right? So like almost a third of the way down the bridge. Okay, I told you I'm coming that way, across the bridge, and on the when I look over to the right side, I can see the beautiful water, and on the left side is nothing, because here's what happens. They divert all the water into a little channel, right? And divert it all down that way, and I'm gonna show you the canal earlier I showed you right there in that slick man so nice it's absolutely gorgeous it's overcast here today uh, I just wish it was better but it's been kind of raining all week so I'm just glad it cleared up at least it's not raining but that's absolutely gorgeous man Turner Falls Massachusetts And what I hate is they have a canal bike path that you can go on. It starts right there and it goes along the canal to the right side and on around. But I'm trying to get to Dorset, Vermont, and I would love to get on that bike path. Awesome. Well, listen, Tim Stanley, RVing with Tim out.